Hey folks, it's HB and welcome to HB's World and huh, yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? So a lot of you are probably wondering, number one, where I've been and number two, why I just showed the trailer for my short film All For You. Well, what essentially is going on is uh, a lot of stuff. Well, yeah, the first thing I want to address is uh, why it's pretty much uh, been a while since I shot my last video, which was ironically an update video. Um, it's just, we, we, things have just been really crazy busy lately, and I just, uh, did, I didn't, I got tired of recording on my phone and always holding it like this, because I like it to where the camera itself is still. Now, as to why I showed the trailer to All For You, okay, essentially what happened is, uh, I finally came across my hard drive, my external hard drive, but the problem was the cord was still missing. So I did not have any access to any of the footage that we shot from <laughs> two years ago. And I recently got an external hard drive from my Xbox One. And then I found out that <laughs> the cords, uh, it takes this, the same exact cord, which uh, I'm not very tech savvy. So you can kind of understand why I really wouldn't know some of these things ahead of time. And so I look back at the footage and uh, there's a lot of things I would have done differently. That's why this uh, update video kind of exists. Is um, after looking through some of the footage uh, a couple of weeks ago, I found this a couple of weeks ago, and I just been really thinking about it. And so I decided to take it upon myself to announce that the original all for you that was shot for that trailer. Is done like uh, it's not gonna happen but the film itself is gonna go through an, a full-blown reshoot like recasting and everything and I was kind of holding off on uh, fil filming for a while like actual legit short films and such because I wanted to wait until I had some kind of a camera uh, like a better camera than just a typical iPhone 6 Plus and uh, pretty much how close am I to kind of achieving this? Because I'm shooting on it right now. That is an iPad Mini 3. And uh, excuse the kitchen, it's a bit of a mess. I need to clean it up. Um, it shoots in multiple different uh, video formats, which is really good for me. Um, and I got a Niagara attachment for it, which is uh, capable of having uh, multiple attach attaches like I can hook up a microphone or a light and see that little circle right there? I can attach a zooming lens to it. And uh, it's really going to help out in the long run. So essentially, I wanted to wait until I got like a legitimate camera and now I do. Um, now as far as when I'm going to start shooting, uh, that's still a little bit too soon to be planning uh, for now. I want to get a couple more things. Uh, one of the biggest issues is, of course, as you can tell, the lighting. I don't have any decent lighting in this apartment because I plan on shooting it here. And But I want to get some better equipment first. Like I need like some decent light. Like these uh, overhead lights here at the apartment or even some ones I got set up at the, the couch over there, they're just not doing too good. Like it's not really illuminating very well and I'm pretty sure the camera's kind of getting blurry off and on because of that very particular reason. I'd also like to get a microphone which uh, for something like that uh, they make iographers for phones and they make uh, these apps that are specifically for voice recording and that's pretty much what I'm going to be using this for because I'd love to get like different audio, different video from all directions and such. As far as casting goes, um, am I going to be playing the same character that I played in All For You? Probably not. If anything, I'm going to recast it. Uh, with who? I don't know. But I may end up playing the character that Derek played. Uh, Terry. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a couple of years. It's been a while since we filmed this. I don't remember a whole lot of things about it, which is... What, I know what a lot of y'all are probably thinking, well, why don't you just finish the shoot? Well, uh, obviously some things have changed over the past few years since we last filmed it. Uh, one is the uh, painfully obvious, and the other one is, 
I just kind of, like, like I said, looking back at the footage, there were some things I wasn't really satisfied with. Uh, one of them is my performance in general. And we were just at a real big disadvantage filming it in the first place because we only had a day to shoot this. Like, the, film, the shots with me and Derek together, we only filmed that for a day. And that's not a very good idea for the most part, unless you're part of a... Uh, 48 hour film race but when it's something that you really want to put more time and effort into you're going to need more than a than a measly 24 hours or in our case i think it was about six hours now there were there were some shots that were filmed on a completely different day uh with derek but the problem with that was i wasn't in the room with him to kind of give him certain direction and there were some things that just weren't exactly matching up like uh the tone of voice that he used uh, in certain scenes, and th that's always the problem with uh, what they call quilt shooting, is if the director is not in the room directing this person, then it, it just, the, the whole scene when it's cut together just turns out to be extremely awkward. And one of the major advantages of uh, being able to film here is because, <laughs> number one, I live here, so I can film it whenever I want. And number two, I can actually uh, be able to film for multiple days at a time. So some of the scenes that didn't make it into the original cut had to be cut because of time. Not, not for the running time, but filming time. Because like I said, we could only shoot this for one day. So a lot of my scenes had to be sacrificed or altered or something. And this way I could be able to shoot what was originally written. And... I think it would add more drama to the story. That and another thing, reason why I wanted to reshoot this is because um, there were some things uh, from a character standpoint that didn't make a whole lot of sense. That looking back on it, I should have fixed it ahead of time, but I, I didn't know it. Which is why it was good that I was able to take a look at this with a fresh set of eyes. And it's a really good thing for me that this hasn't been cut together and released yet. Because now I can take that and do whatever I want with it. I mean, yeah, there's a trailer, but that's all it is. It's just a trailer. That's just a preview. I'm going to consider that, say, test footage. Um, as for the um, actual trailer, um, it, it's originally on my separate YouTube channel called Penny Pincher Productions, which is what I'm naming my little production company. <laughs> but uh, as of right now, that video is deleted. You'll be able to see it on here, on this video itself. Uh, and Penny Pinchers is kind of going to kind of absorb itself into this one. Which, I may change this channel to Penny Pincher Productions. I haven't decided yet. Uh, that's going to be something for a future day. I mean, that's it as far as all for you news. Um, one of the biggest upsides of being able to get this camera is be able to to do more projects, which is something I've been really trying to do for years now. And uh, it, I just keep hitting snag after snag after snag, and it's just, it's been crazy. Now, I'm not going to shoot a feature link yet. No, 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 no. Because I only have one iPad, okay? Uh, something like a feature link movie, it's going to take more than one camera. Like, I don't know how most other local films are able to do this. But it, I would much rather my first experience be a little easier than uh, they make it. I mean, I understand there's going to be some hurdles to climb or jump or whatever the fuck you do on hurdles. But it's I just really prefer to have multiple cameras shooting for a feature length. Now, as far as any other projects that I might be doing before I get to the feature length and after I do all for you, um, as I mentioned uh, a while back, in my earlier video, My Life with Film, I'll put a link in the description if you feel like sitting there for 20 minutes, which you know what? I did. So you can do it too. <laughs> um, my next project, I want to do a short called My Life with Dirty Diana, or My Night with Dirty Diana. Uh, what this is, it's going to be like more of a romantic short, uh, a romantic drama type short. Uh, where I'm just going to be behind the camera. I, I'm not going to go into full details in the plot yet, but pretty much it's about gaining self-confidence and learning how to like yourself before you can ever like anyone else. Uh, after that, I want to do 
a not to be taken seriously action short. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's going to be a, like guns a blazing, a fat guy, <laughs> me, uh, in a gun shootout against a dude in a wheelchair, which is Bobby. Well, that's it. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I want to thank you guys for being really patient with me uh, as far as the YouTube channel and the short film goes. And uh, I mostly made this video to let everyone in on what's going on and uh, what's going to be next on the channel. As far as what's going to be next on the channel, I don't know, you know. Uh, I seem to kind of do these videos on a whim anyway. I don't necessarily have like a schedule going. But uh, most of my focus is going to be on getting, equip getting some more equipment, affordable equipment, to be able to, fin to reshoot all for you. And then I'm going to recast a couple of roles and be able to set everything up uh, the way I want it to. Uh, rework the script and then shoot. You know, uh, hopefully have it in time before next year's film festival, whichever it may be. So again, thank you for watching, and I really hope I see you guys again really soon.